Hello YouTube and today I'm going to try and refilm my what's in my uni bag video. It was meant to be up from a recording I'd done previously today already. Um but the sound corrupted or something and from three minutes in it has no sound. And I'm gonna try again today and let's get started then. Right, my uni bag looks like this. It's absolutely massive, but it fits everything I need so it's okay. And it's from Deichman. Um and yeah, I'm just gonna start going through what's in my bag. So like first thing to pull out is my massive um notebook notebook that has my lecture slides and like course notes in. Um and that's just from Sainsbury's, it was dead cheap and it's better than me just throwing things in a ring binder because last time I tried that I ended up forgetting to put things in the ring binder and then had no notes. Um, the next one is my diary that just has where my lectures are, what time they're at, where I'm meant to be meeting people and other such stuff that keeps me in the right place at the right time, otherwise I'd just not turn up to anything. Um, I've got my book from the train, I'm currently reading Elephants on Acid by Alex Boss. And as much as it, I was going to say, as much as it's a really weird title, it's not as weird as it sounds. It actually is. Uh, it's all sorts of weird experiments that have been have been done in the past. Um, I can't give my, many examples because I'm not that far through it yet. But it is a really good read from what I've seen. Um, and yeah, I'm reading that at the moment. But I've also got my Kindle down there that I'll sometimes take with us, and that has stuff like Les Mis, blogging and the Sherlock's home series on my Kindle. Um so yeah I'll either take my book my book, actual book or a Kindle with me put on the train. Then I've got my purse which just looks like this. It's from a company called Gorgeous. It so I've got my change in this pouch here which isn't that interesting, it's mostly tuppences. And then in this section here I've got my key hidden away in this pouch here just because I've lost it on so many different occasions. In fact, I lost it this this afternoon. I spent about 20 minutes outside my house going, ah, where is my key? Until I found it again in the pocket I checked in 10 times. And then it's got all of my bank cards and my points cards and store cards and goodness knows what in there. But like the print on the inside is really pretty as well. And I got that for Christmas and I love it. Um, next one is my little plastic pouch that just has my uni ID card and some stamps and a bus travel card and a pin number for some part of the library that I'm not actually sure where yet because I haven't found what it's for. Um, I've also got gloves because anyone who lives in England at the moment will know it's snowing and it's cold and my hands are cold to start off with, so put snow into the equation and I'm screwed. So I have gloves. I have Batiste dry shampoo in coconut exotic tropical smell, which is an absolute lifesaver. And deodorant, because deodorant is useful. I've got a pen floating around at the bottom. I should have mocks and they're floating around the bottom so often I can't hardly find them ever. Got my hairbrush, which I couldn't find this afternoon. It managed to get lost in the bottom of my handbag, on the bottom of my uni bag, which is why my hair's a bit of a mess. Um, I've got a hand warmer that's now solid and gone and used. Didn't work very well anyway. Um, I've got a random hair bubble. I've got mini cheddars because I was going to eat them on the way home and then decided not to. I've got luminescent bright lime green headphones that are actually showing up way darker than they actually are. These are practically glow in the dark neon green. But I figured it'll save them getting nicked because nobody will want to steal bright green headphones in theory. I've got my iPhone. Which are just a beat up old iPhone 3GS. 
which is progressively deciding it's going to kill itself. And then I've got my little bag of useful things, which is the bag I got in my um, American Swap video. Um, I don't tend to take a lot of makeup to school, opening to uni even, because the longest time I spend in uni is seven hours, and that's purely because I have a five hour, ga five hour gap in the middle of my lectures. So if my makeup isn't going to last the one to seven hours that I'm in uni, then I don't see the point in owning it because it's not going to do anything. So only makeup stuff I have is the lipsticks that I'm wearing or the lipstick that I forget to take out of my bag from the day before, which is the Illamasqua Sanchez lipstick, which looks like that. Wore that one yesterday and didn't bother taking it out of my uni bag. And then I've got MAC the colour which is the colour I'm wearing today which I absolutely love it tastes so nice and it's vanilla -y and I like it then I've got my little travel canister of Boston Re perfume just for in case I want to smell nice on my round of uni I've got the L'Occitane mango flower hand cream I am a strong advocate of these. In my opinion, they're way better than hand food from Soap and Glory, but I don't know whether that's just because I'm slightly biased against the smell of Soap and Glory stuff. It makes me feel ill. Um, then I've got Tic Tacs, because I like Tic Tacs. Got my mirror and my Kleenex blotting pads, just for if you have a bit of an oily fit, oily like forehead or oily skin just because they're better for your skin than putting more powder on it just removes the oil rather than just covering it up and filling it full of, more, filling it full of um, more powder I've got my Burt's Bees lip balm because I find this is more practical than my Carmex tub as much as I love my Carmex um, lip balm to pieces I've got hot chocolate in a sachet I've got tampon and nail file just for the sake of having them and I've got two bubbles that all go in this little pouch to keep them separate and stop them getting lost um, and yeah I think that is pretty much everything that is in here other than the bottle of Diet Coke that is now on my bench because I'm drinking it my Thermos flask from Costa, which is getting washed, and my umbrella that is downstairs currently leaking water all over the floor. But yeah, that's everything I take with me to uni. I hope you've enjoyed watching that, and I hope it helps if you're going to uni or need to work out what you need to bring to uni. The one thing I will say is I have no textbooks for my course because. It isn't really a textbook course, I'm doing psychology, so a lot of the work we do is based on journal articles rather than textbooks. I had one textbook, so they then sold them back to the uni because I used it. I used one of the seven books we bought once over the entirety of the first semester, and other than that, there weren't any use. So that's something I will give advice to, whether you start a university now or you're going into a new semester or you're starting a university in the future. Do not buy the textbooks. They have them in the library. You can reserve them. You can pick them up from the library or you can, I think it's actually even cheap, it's actually cheaper, to, cheaper to buy them on a Kindle or an e-reader or whatever than it is to buy them in, in text format anyway. So don't buy the textbooks. I made the mistake in the first semester and it cost me a fortune and you only get about half the price back from even if you sell them to Amazon. So don't do it. You can get them from the library. It'll save you a fortune. But other than that, um, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go and see why the other one broke. Bye bye!